Hey, BGSU women's soccer coach Andy Richards on the eve of the preseason. Uh, it's Thursday, August 5th. Your official practices start tomorrow, but uh, your team, everyone's back here in town. If you could just maybe talk a little bit about what they've been doing. Sure, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the <laughs> kids who came back in yesterday, most of them, um, that was the, the first day the NC28 that we could officially practice. We decided to give the the captains and the seniors a bit of uh, leeway, gave them a couple of days to get the team together and put some fun activities uh, together for the rest of the team. So they've, they've done a the cookout, they've moved into dorms, they've had breakfast, they've, so they've certainly eaten well already, and now they've done a, a scavenger hunt downtown on campus this afternoon. So really just a couple of days for them to bond a little bit, get to know each other, the freshmen, of course, just to find their feet a little bit before we start the, the official preseason, which is tomorrow. Uh, you mentioned the freshmen. Um, you've got 12 newcomers, uh, the biggest group you've had. Um, you can just maybe talk about that. I assume this this time, obviously the on-the-field stuff is important, but I would think that just the everyone getting to know everyone, just the team bonding time, things like a cookout or whatever can in some ways be just as important? I think so, yeah. I mean, it's a big group. I, I don't think it really makes too much difference. There's always that bonding going on at the beginning of the year. and It's not something you can force. I can't make the team become closer. I can't force them to have team chemistry. But what I can do is provide them with opportunities to be together and just let it happen naturally. So that's really why we've done these first couple of days. I think the seniors this year will do a really great job of leading that facilitating that whole experience and, and they're fun and the, I mean the whole team is fun but they've got to find their they've all got to find their way so that's really what these first two days have, have been about there, it is a big group this, this uh, freshman group is, as I say there's 12 of them so they're going to take a bit of getting used to but they've all they've been Facebooking with each other they all met their official visits last year or some of them have so there's a lot of relationships that have started already much much more so than the the good old days when we used to bring freshmen in the locker room and they'd never met anybody before. <laughs> so there was a lot of tears in those years. But it's a little bit different now. And the uh, the senior group, there's not quite the quantity there with only four, but uh, I think it seems to me at least that the quality's there. If you want, maybe want to just talk about that group. Yeah, I think that those four, um, Alicia, Katie, Alexa, and Jackie, I mean, there's some great personalities there, some, certainly some diversity in that group. They're all strong players. They all get good minutes. I think that's important in, in leadership as well. But they're, they're good people who, who understand what it takes. They know that there has to be some sacrifice along the way, but they also know how to have fun and they know how to create a positive environment. So that's really what we're looking for. We really want to be successful this year. We want to have fun along the way. To me, they go hand in hand. There's nothing more fun than winning. So if we can take care of one, the other one should follow. So I think they're going to do a terrific job for us. Okay, um, you mentioned practice starts uh, tomorrow, Friday the 6th. Um, I've heard over the years both you and the players mentioned the dreaded Falcon fitness test, so I know that's in their very near future, but what else will you do the first few days here? Uh, the first day is really meetings, just handing out gear, um, just talking about expectations, uh, setting an itinerary together, and then the, the fitness test is normally on the first day. Uh, we're doing it in the evening this year, so it'll be a little bit cooler. Uh, we were just talking about it in the office, actually, about how we're going to organise it. 30 players all doing a fitness test at one time. That's, that takes a bit of organisation, especially on just on the track. So uh, they'll do that. We, we'll perhaps go out and just play for a little bit after that just to uh, kind of get them back into the swing of things. And then really official practice starts on Saturday. We'll have, we'll have two a day for the first few days, and then we'll see how the, the legs are feeling on Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Um, anything at this point I didn't touch upon that you might want to add? I think we're, overall there's a great sense of excitement. We, you know, there's, no, there's no secret that we didn't have a very good year last year. It, it came from nowhere. We didn't realize that was going to happen. There was really no reason going into last season to, to realize we were going to be as unsuccessful as we were. So there's a great excitement to uh, to get to a new season and to put it behind us and there's also a great determination I, I know certainly from those four seniors there last year to finish on a real high so it's, it's an exciting time you never know how good a team is going to be but I, I have a feeling we're going to do some, some good stuff this year so we're all just really excited and I'm just glad to be back in season again 
And uh, the the preseason, you have one scrimmage uh, on Friday the 20th against Windsor, and then two days later, Sunday the 22nd, the regular season opener yeah. against Cincinnati. Cincinnati yeah. Yeah. And we'll, then, we'll have a couple of inter-squad games the weekend before just to, again, get into the routine of playing Friday, Sunday. But uh, you're right, one scrimmage game, which will be uh, hopefully an opportunity to get everybody on the field. You hope everyone's healthy and fit. And then that uh, season opener is against Cincinnati, which will be a big game. And then the, we have a couple of home games the next weekend as well. So we're set up, ready to go. Okay, sir, we will uh, check in with you maybe another time or two here in the preseason and early in the season. And till then, roll along, I Thanks, guess. Thanks, huh? Look forward to it, and you roll along too. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you.